Hey guys, my name is Ariana Rose. Welcome to my channel, Be Transpired. This is my highlight and contour video. So just keep watching and you will learn some amazing new things. Highlighting and contouring allows you to change the shape of your face. Now how this happens is when you highlight, you're making light bounce off of your face and making it appear larger and brighter and making it move forward. Anytime you contour something, you're making it recede back, you're making it look more sunken in and slimmer. Now when you're highlighting and contouring your face or anybody else's, keep in mind that everybody's face shape is different, so adjust your highlight and your contour based on the shape of your face. You can also use the technique of highlighting and contouring with any makeup that you put on. So you can use it with eyeshadows and lipsticks and cheek colors. You can play with different colors and different textures to make things push back and make things come forward. So to get started, I've already applied a lightweight foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and start with highlighting. I'm going to use Max Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in light. I want my highlight to be a neutral tone. Um, I want a little bit of a pink tone underneath my eye, but I don't wanna get it too pink. So I'm gonna mix um, this yellow corrector shade here and then I'm gonna mix it with um, NW10, which has a little bit more pink in it. My all-time favorite brush, I think everybody should have this for concealer, for contouring. Uh, it is just amazing. That Sephora's whole line of these airbrush brushes are amazing. And this is the number 57 Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to go straight into the palette. I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow shade here, and then a little bit of the NW10. Now I'm going to start right in my eye area and on my cheekbone. I want to make sure that I'm applying it on top of my cheekbone rather than the side of my cheekbone because I want the light to reflect up to make my cheekbones look higher rather than on the side because that's going to make my cheekbones appear higher. So I'm just going to start right on top and I'm going to take those colors and just blend it through there. And then I'm going to start from the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to bring it straight down to the corner of my nose here. Um, and this is just the basic sort of triangle shape that I know all of you guys have seen. And then from there I'm just going to sort of connect it to the highlight on the top of my cheekbone. All right, so you can see that there is a huge difference with the highlight. So when highlighting, you also wanna take into consideration that light is a lot more powerful than darkness. So you could change the way your face looks just by using highlights. But you wanna be careful because you don't want unnecessary highlights on the face, especially if you're using photography. Um, just because it just creates odd reflections on the skin. So only keep it in the areas where you need it. So I'm just taking a damp beauty blender sponge and I'm just sort of going to blend that out. I don't want there to be any sort of harsh lines, but I still want there to be a defined highlight. I'm just going to go back in a little bit, just sort of right on the top of my cheekbone. So then after I do a highlight, I like to do a little bit of concealer if you need it. Um, this is concealer, but I like to do something a little different, a little bit more creamy um, for the darkness right through here. And I'm using my all-time favorite NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this is in Vanilla Light 2. And I'm just going to take a little bit, and I'm just going to put it right through here, but I don't want to do it in a circle. I want to still follow the shape that we created with that highlight. So I'm going to blend it down through here and blend it up through here, but I'm going to concentrate the most product where I have the darkness.
All right, so I'm just gonna do the exact same thing right on the other side. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna highlight is the center of my face. I'm gonna start with my nose and my forehead. I'm going to use a little bit more of the yellow tones um, since my skin has more of a yellow tone to it. I'm gonna take the NC15 and then a little bit of that yellow corrector shade. And sometimes I like to make a little concoction and I'll mix them with a little bit of the NW10 if I want like a little bit of brightness, sort of like right in the center. But I'm just gonna start with the NC10. Now before I was saying that light is more powerful than darkness, so when it comes to doing your nose, I think that you can change the shape of your nose and make it appear slimmer just with a highlight and it looks a little bit more natural. Sometimes I will contour the nose a little bit, I'll show you how, uh, but on a daily basis it's definitely something that I don't do because I feel like I can get a good enough effect with just a highlight. All right, so now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of highlights on my Cupid's bow. That will make your lips look a little bit more pouty and stand out. I'm gonna go just a little bit on my chin. All right, so let's move on to contouring. I am using the same Pro Conceal palette. I'm just using the medium colors. And I am going to use a mixture again. I don't want the contour to be too red and I don't want it to be too yellow. You want your contour to look a little bit more like a shadow. So you want really neutral tones or more gray tones. I'm just going to sort of mix these two center shades, um, which is uh, NW35 and NC35. I'm just going to take the same exact brush and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of those two. I'm gonna start on my cheekbone. You just want to look at your face, sort of feel it, and you wanna get right underneath this bone right here. The basic way to find it is just sort of with your brush at the top of your ear, you can roll it up and you can feel where that bone is. That is where you want your contour to be. You can see it left like a little red line. So I'm just gonna sort of start through here and I, I'm i gonna just go with that line. I don't want it to go all the way down to my lip. That's cool if you are doing more of like a drag queen makeup or something really intense for a photo shoot. But, you know, for daily wear to make it look more natural, I'm just gonna go with the natural curve of my face. So I'm not gonna make just like a straight harsh line. I'm gonna sort of curve up a little bit, but not like, intensely it's not going to look curved it's just going to be just soft with the with the structure of my face so i'm just going to go in and sort of intensify that line All right, so there's my contour. It's not super intense. I'm gonna go over it with a powder product and show you how to deepen it if you want to. Um, cream products, especially if you are doing this for a photo shoot, tend to look a little bit more natural because they look like skin. Powder, product, powder products can tend to look a little bit more synthetic. So I always like using cream products, but for me on a daily basis, I usually just use a powder product and then a cream product for my highlight. So I'm just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. All right, so now I'm going to contour my forehead. This is something really good you could do if you have a very large forehead. If you have a really, really small forehead, um, I would not contour. I would just make sure that your contour from the cheek sort of blends up into the hairline so it doesn't look like it stops anywhere it just like seamlessly flows together but I wouldn't actually get in and contour your forehead. All right so I'm going to take the same shades I'm just going to bring this right along my hairline um, and you want to make sure that you're really blending it in to the hair so that 
it doesn't look like you just sort of slap makeup on. You want everything to look as natural as possible and you want it to look like skin. So I'm just going to lightly blend it down into this contour, but I don't want all of this to be contoured right here. I still want there to be a highlight to reflect light off of that area. Okay. So now I'm going to contour my jawbone. This can help to make your face look slimmer, take away any double chin that you may have. I am just taking the same shades and I'm just going to start right along the side of my bone. And if you really push your brush against this, it's going to do all of the work and give you the perfect placement. All right, so I'm just going to drag it right on the bottom of my jawbone. And you really want this to look just like a shadow. So you want to make sure that you're really blending it. But you're blending it this way and you don't really want to bring this down. You want to just make it look like it's just a shadow. So you just want it the concentration of product right at the jawbone and then you just make it blend down a little, a little bit but not so that when you're looking forward you can see it coming down. Alright so the last thing to contour is going to be your nose. Like I said before this is not something that you necessarily have to do. It's not something that I really like to do because um, it can tend to look really synthetic and fake but if you do it really softly, it can really just sort of flatter the nose and make everything look nice and defined and slim. So you just want to go right along your bone, right through here. So if you start there and just sort of lightly bring it down the side of the nose and make sure it's a straight line so you don't make your nose look crooked. Now, if you want to make your nose look shorter, you can bring the contour and wrap it all along the front of your nose. I already have a short nose, so I don't want to make it look any shorter. So I'm just going to bring it right along the sides right there and then just leave it at that. And if you want to get very precise with your nose contour, you could definitely use a smaller brush. I just want it to be really soft and blended, um, nothing super like structured, so that's why I'm just using the same brush. So now that everything is highlighted and contoured with all of my cream products, I'm going to set it with powder products. I am going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit. This kit is genius. The powders are really, really nice and smooth and they blend wonderfully. Um, and we have all of these colors here. So <laughs> to set my highlight, I like to use a little concoction of three different things. You do not have to do this. If you have this palette and one of these shades works for you, use that. Um, I like to use a mixture of the center yellow one, this one that has a little bit more pink tone to it, and then I use Max Pro Powder and Emphasize. So the reason I do this is the same reason I mixed all of the concealer shades for under my eye. It's because I still want it to have a little pinkness to it, but I don't want it to be too pink. I want it to have a little yellow to it, and then I put this in there because if I put those two shades, it would definitely deepen what I have on my highlight since I'm pretty fair. Um, so I put this in and that adds a little extra oomph and just makes it stand out a little bit more. So my favorite brush to use to set my highlight and also to use for a shimmer highlight is the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlight Brush. This is amazing and very affordable. So 
I like to sandwich these colors when I grab them. So I am going to start with the emphasize on my brush and then I am going to go a little bit into the yellow shade, a little bit into the pinker shade, and then I'm going to go back in to this lighter shade here. Seems a little overkill. Um, it is a little much, but I just figured I would show you what I usually do on a daily basis. All right, so I, I tap the product a little bit down like this, um, just so the powders go into the brush and they're not all right up on top. And then I am going to set my highlight and just make sure that your concealer or whatever you put underneath your eye is just out of the creases so you don't set it into the creases. All right, so I am going to use, now for my face, I'm just gonna take the, I'm gonna take the MAC Emphasize and then the yellow shade. And I'm gonna mix those two together to set the highlights, the rest of all of the highlights. All right, to finish off all of the highlight, I am going to use the highlighter shade in this kit, and it has a really pretty shimmer to it, and that is just going to help the light bounce off even more and create a, such a beautiful glow for your skin. And I am going to focus most of it right on top of my cheekbone, but I'm just going to skim it a little bit on my nose and my cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. Same brush. Alright, so now to move on to contouring, I am going to use the center shade, which is a little bit more of a taupey color, and then I'm going to use a little bit of this warmer color just to help blend it out and to create a little bit more of a bronzed look, um, just because I feel like it looks more natural. I want the taupe shade focus more on the area that I want to create a shadow, and then I'm going to use the warmer shade to blend it out and look like I'm just naturally bronzed and contoured. So I usually dip a little bit in the taupe shade and then a little bit in the warm shade. And I am using the Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. I love this brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna tap it off and just sort of work it into the brush. I want to make sure that I'm starting really light so I don't go in and I'm like, ah, and then you have to blend it out. That's the hardest thing and the worst thing ever. Ugh. So just make sure you're starting small and I'm just going to start right in the place that we contoured before. And then I'm going to blend that up. All right, now just to sort of clean the line up a little bit, I'm just going to take my foundation brush and I'm just going to lay all of the little baby hairs that I have on the sides of my face. Just make sure that they're laid down so they don't stand out. Then I'm going to use a little bit more of the warm tone rather than the taupe tone on my forehead. Just because this is the area where you normally get a little bit more tan. So I want it to look a little bit more like a bronze tan than a contour. Because there wouldn't be like a normal shadow right here be more of just like a deeper bronze and just like lightly wrap it around to the contour that you have on the sides of your face it's gonna do the other side all right so now I'm going to contour underneath my chin and my double chin and I'm taking just the taupe shade to do this because I want this to definitely look like just a shadow. So for my nose, I'm just going to use a mixture of the same shades that I have been. Just very, very lightly. And I'm using a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow brush. And I am just going to start the same effects that we did before. Right in the eye socket. And I'm going to... 
bring it down the sides of the nose. All right, so this is my finished highlighted and contoured face. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned some new tips and tricks that you can use on yourself and other people that you put makeup on. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will link all of the products that I use down below. Have a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Bye.